it's a pretty megalom megalomaniacal job being a writer because you just assume that other people need to know what you say. You you assume that other people want to sit sit there for hours and hours and read things you wrote. I mean, you have to be fairly stuck up to think that you have something to say and that other people need to hear it. Just as often being a writer is a fairly self-crushing job because so much of because the job is sitting in a chair thinking of things to say. Um, a lot of the time things to say do not come as quickly as one would like. I do have faith that the the magical moments of inspiration or clarity come, but I also know that those are few and far between and they they are built on the shoulders of days and days of pacing down a hallway back and forth to the crackers, you know. I know that part of it is 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 um wading through a lot of nothing. Um but the moments, for me, the moments I figure something out that maybe no one has ever figured out before, um, I feel pretty godlike and uh, even writing those moments down is less, um, is, is less valuable and... Um, than just having having a moment of clarity or have or figuring something out. Um, my last book, I figured out something about uh, the history of the United States as a subset of the history of immunology, having to do with an Indian plague in 17th century Massachusetts and the Irish potato famine. And I, in the moment, I had the the little epiphany about. Uh, the 17th century plague in Massachusetts and the 19th century Irish potato famine and how that relates to um, Boston turning from a Protestant town to a Catholic one, I was, um, you know, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. I don't think it really means that much to anyone else, and probably that paragraph was like, oh, that's interesting for the reader, and then they just move on to the next one, you know. But um, the moment I figured, I had the epiphany, that was... Um, those are the moments I kind of live for. It's hard to, for, even, for me to even talk about the importance of books in my life because I don't know how to think of my life without them. I mean, there are certain books that I turn to uh, the way other people take drugs, I guess, you know, or the way other people listen to music. Like, I, I need to feel a certain way, and so I will uh, read the last page of The Great Gatsby. Or there are books I use as a writer to, um, you know, snap me out of whatever mood. You know, I can always, like, open up Moby Dick at random and remember why I love words and why sitting in, your, in my apartment for two years by myself trying to think things up, why um, it's worth it. Because um, as a, sometimes writing is hard and sometimes it's depressing and sometimes it's abysmal and, you know, there's so much despair. And... Um, I, I actually write in my apartment. I have this very dark hole where I write. But sometimes when I want to get out of the dark hole of my head, I walk into the living room where all the books are, and I just sometimes I just stare at the shelves of books and, and remind myself, remember how much you love these? Remember how much these have meant to you? Remember how these have cheered you up? So books are, um, they're, they're my friends, you know?